Greetings everyone. In this short video we're going to study a piece of Babylonian mathematics which is uh, this video is also a follow-up to an earlier uh, uh, video about uh, basically products being able to uh, be expressed as a difference of squares. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly remind you what was discussed in the earlier video which was based on Paul Lockhart's uh, new book called The Measurement. Uh, given any product A times B, uh, you can actually express this product as a difference of squares as you can see here. I'm going to quickly just change the dimensions of A and B and observe the protocol here. The procedure here is take this original rectangle and truncate uh, it, the, the, from the longer side and append it uh, onto the shor shorter side in such a manner that it will complete it to a uh, basically a difference of squares pattern. It's a quite ingenious technique that apparently the Babylonians knew and discovered. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to quickly see an algebraic derivation of the quadratic formula from this um, knowledge that every product is a difference of squares. Uh, in order to do this, I'm going to work with a very simple quadratic um, uh, where the leading coefficient a, normally is written as a, is 1. Uh, you can always do that, by the way. You can always take any general quadratic um, and divide uh, both sides of the equation by a to get this um, form that I have. So I'm just going to focus on this simpler form of the quadratic. Uh, so the first thing we do is we throw the C value on the other side so it becomes negative C and observe that you can now factor the X from the left side. We have X times X plus B and suddenly you realize you're dealing with a product here on the left side. And we learned earlier that every product is a difference of squares. So what you could do is you could average the X plus B and X and square it. And then you can take the difference of x plus b and x and divide by 2 and square it. And that should equal to minus c. Now the beautiful thing is both of these expressions are going to now uh, uh, get simpler. So the first square here becomes x plus b over 2 squared. And the second one gets even nicer because the x's will cancel. You'll end up with b over 2 squared. Uh, as a next step, throw the uh, b over 2 squared uh, onto the other side. And when you simplify and equate the denominators, etc., you're going to start getting things that already look a lot like the discriminant. So you're going to get b squared minus 4c divided by 4. And now what we need to do is take the square root of both sides. That will give a square root in front of the uh, b squared minus 4c here put a plus or minus here and when you toss the b over 2 onto the other side you'll get the famous uh, quadratic formula. Uh, so it is interesting that Babylonians were able to uh, use the quadratic formula uh, and derive it because of their knowledge how to express products as difference of squares. I find this quite fascinating. This is one of the most elegant uh, derivations of the quadratic formula that I am aware of. Uh, so I strongly urge you to uh, think about this derivation and uh, maybe do it on your own. Alrighty, all the best. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.